Hey everyone, if you read the title, then you know what I'm going to be talking about right now. But, um, in a few hours from now, of course, will be the launch of Resident Evil 6. So, I'm getting ready for that. But I thought I made the, you know, would upload this quick video. Um, talking about, like the title of the video says, how one of the producers for RE6, you know, Resident Evil 6, is pretty much asking for our help, you know, the fans' help, in making something in this happen. And I was actually thinking about it, like, you know, it didn't really dawn on me until earlier this morning when talking with a friend, you know, on a video chat using my PS3 about this. Um, I mean, ever considered why he would bring up the idea of a Resident Evil 2 remake. What about the idea that he was asking, pretty much saying if fans demanded it, that was basically his way of asking for our help. And I was wondering why, and then it dawned on me, you know. They finished all their Resident Evil projects that they had going on, all the projects of Resident Evil they had going on for a while now. Because earlier this year, for the 3DS, we had Resident Evil Revelations get released. Then the m next month we had, you know, Operation Raccoon City. Granted that Capcom didn't really make the game, but they did have some involvement with their support team helping um, Slant 6 and that, all that stuff. In June, or was it Ju whether it was June or July, it was sometime in one of these two months where we got the Resident Evil Chronicles HD collection. You know, Umbrella Chronicles and Darkseid Chronicles. Then, now we're in September, We earlier this month, you know, the Resident Evil movie came out, that really has nothing to do with Capcom, so that's like a separate franchise, like, yes, the movie makers need some approval from Capcom, but that's about it. Um, and then we have Resident Evil Damnation, which was also being worked on at, as this, you know, at the same time as Resident Evil 6, Resident Evil Revelations, and Resident Evil, and the, all the other projects going on. But more importantly, like, you know, um, Hiroyuki Kobayashi, the produce, one of the producers for Resident Evil 6, worked on the Damnation movie, which is the prequel to the actual game. Like, it sets things up for Leon and Ada. It takes place right before, like, not a few years or anything like that, like, just before the actual game takes place. Um, but, you know all these projects and they're finally finished so they have nothing going on for Resident Evil right now and for him to you know um, the producer Yoshiaki Ko Hirabayashi <laughs> I almost got his name mixed up there he asked for our help because you know he wants to remake Resident Evil 2 like he wants to do it for us he wants to help give the fans what they want so he's asking for the fans help basically he's asking for you know everyone's help to force Cap on Capcom into going hey you know what let's give them that remake they want so badly since we have no Resident Evil projects going on you know cuz if any time there was any time to act it would be right now while they have nothing going on with Resident Evil now would be the time because yes they're about to release Resident Evil 6 but that's about all they have going on for them right now they have no other projects in the works, so they could put their full attention to this remake if they wanted to, or they could move on to Resident Evil 7. And using all the feedback from Resident Evil 6, like, you know, they can only improve, like, yes, the games will be modernized and all, but anyone that doesn't see the horror in 6, because it is there, Capcom did make a nod to it. They're just being blind or, you know, they're just blinded by their hatred of the action route with them, you know, whatever action is in the game. But either way, you know, they're asking for our help, so people are showing their support. So, and if we really do want Resident Evil 2 to be remade, we should show our support. I mean, yes, it's hard to put faith in Capcom, but 
the suits and the creative teams are two different things. So maybe the creative teams will more or less do what we want, not what Capcom wants. Um, overall, the suits have the final say, yes. But if the you know they see that we really want the survival horror, that we really want the classic style back, they they may give it to us. They may actually give it to us. They just have to know that the demand is there and that the support is there. If they don't see that, then they won't take into consideration at all. So, think about it. I mean, why else would one of the producers of Resident Evil 6 be telling us to make some noise about it? A groundswell, as he, since that's how he put it, you know, in his words. Um, why would they ask us to do that if they didn't want to do the remake? You know, if they didn't plan on anything for that. I think this is something everyone should take into consideration. Anyway, this is just something I thought I would bring up because I would love to see a Resident Evil 2 remake as I said in one of my previous videos. I would love to see it done right. But it can't happen if there's no support for it. And yeah, there's support there. I mean, I'm seeing it all over the internet, but... I mean, we could always use more help. We could always use more people. You know, hopefully the general public can open up to the idea. And I'm not talking about, like, the 15-year-old kids and all that that don't even know what the classic games were like. I'm talking about everyone that knew what Resident Evil was and that would prefer the classic games to kind of have that back you should be jumping in to support this regardless of how it turns out it would just be interesting to see it happen anyway I'm going to leave my video there I'll leave you all with your thoughts comment rate you know do whatever but let's support Resident Evil 2 getting remade especially since you know a lot of us that grew up with it would love to see the game again we would love to see people enjoying what we got to enjoy all that great stuff look at Toonami, Toonami's back because everyone banded together that used to watch the the block you know when it was on Cartoon Network not Adult Swim banded together to get it back and look we got it back two months after that one airing on April Fools and then you know it took a while, but, you know, it's finally evolved, more or less. Like, yes, some of the shows were changed, and now it became a full midnight run. Like, it expanded, starting this Saturday. Anyway, let me leave my video here. Leave you all with your thoughts. You know, comment, rate, whatever. Um, have a good night, y'all. And for those of you getting Resident Evil 6, hope you enjoy it. I know I'll probably be enjoying it. Um... I can't wait, just, you know, a few more hours and I'll go get it. Peace.